When Lily Collins developed a fear of eating, no one noticed her struggles. But as they worsened, Lily had to confront her deepest fears and insecurities. Have you ever felt like you had to hide something from the people around you? Something that consumed your thoughts and controlled your actions? Watch this video till the end to find out how Lily overcame her fear of eating and emerged stronger than ever before. Lily Collins, born into the lineage of a musical legend, Phil Collins, and his enigmatic second wife, Jill Tavelman. Her early years shrouded in the misty landscapes of England, but fate had a wicked twist in store. At the tender age of seven, Lily and her mother were whisked away to the dark heart of Los Angeles. A divorce, a symphony of shattered dreams, and her father's relentless tours cast an ominous shadow over her upbringing. In this labyrinth of uncertainty, her mother and grandmother became her sole beacons of solace. Journalism, a flickering flame of passion ignited within Lily's soul. She pursued a degree in television journalism, a shield against the encroaching darkness. Yet, lurking beneath the surface, a malevolent force awaited. The teenage years, a breeding ground for fear, as the specter of an eating disorder loomed. Body image demons clawed at her fragile psyche, while the relentless pressure to conform to society's twisted standards of beauty threatened to consume her very essence. Lily's battle with her inner demons began as a whisper, a faint echo in the depths of her soul. But soon, it transformed into a cacophony of torment, a symphony of suffering. The shattered fragments of her parents' separation and her father's perpetual absence tore at the fabric of her sanity. In the suffocating void, Lily found herself drowning in a sea of inadequacy, her self-worth eroded by the relentless waves of self-doubt. A toxic relationship with food based on the fear of eating became her hidden demon. Initially, the world remained oblivious to Lily's silent struggle. She mastered the art of deception, concealing her torment behind a mask of normalcy. But as the sands of time slipped away, her condition spiraled into a nightmarish abyss. Concerned whispers began to circulate among her family and friends, but it was the vanishing of her menstrual cycle that jolted Lily into the chilling realization of the abyss she had descended into. A pivotal moment arrived when Lily confronted the grim reality that her eating disorders were ravaging her physical well-being. Seeking salvation, she turned to the guiding hands of professionals, embarking on a treacherous journey towards recovery. Yet, the path ahead was strewn with thorns, demanding she confront her deepest fears and insecurities head-on. The battle for her very soul exacted a toll of emotional devastation, leaving her drained and teetering on the precipice of despair. Lily stood before a plate of food, her emotions swirling in a tempestuous storm. Fear slithered through her veins like venom, constricting her heart and mind in an unrelenting grip. Each bite presented a Herculean challenge, a grueling battle between her desire to save herself and her fear of eating. Food, once a source of pleasure and sustenance, had become a ruthless adversary, ready to betray her and amplify her sense of inadequacy. Her fear manifested in a series of physical and mental symptoms. Her heart raced as if it wanted to escape her chest. Her hands trembled slightly, making it difficult to grasp the utensils. Her mouth grew dry, as if the food were a foreign entity threatening to choke her but it was her mind that bore the brunt of the assault. Anxiety seeped into her like a haunting shadow, fueling negative and self-destructive thoughts. She felt inadequate, disgusted by her own body, convinced that each morsel brought her closer to her worst enemy, herself. The fear of food was a whirlpool that dragged her deeper and deeper, trapping her in a labyrinth of negative emotions. It was as if food had the power to awaken her inner demons, to make her relive all her deepest insecurities and fears. 
Yet, despite it all, Lily fought. She fought to find the strength to confront her fear, to push past her limits. Every time she managed to take a bite, however small, it was a victory. It was a step forward towards healing, towards reclaiming her life. The path to recovery was steep and rocky for Lily. Anorexia and bulimia, two formidable foes, stood in her way. She found herself caught in a vicious cycle of fasting and binging, a relentless tug of war. But Lily was determined. She knew her life was worth more than any disorder and she was ready to fight. She began to dig deep, peeling back the layers of her psyche to uncover the root causes of her illness. She realized that her eating disorders were not just about her body, but also about her emotional and psychological well-being. This realization was a crucial step in her recovery. One of the biggest hurdles Lily had to overcome was her relationship with her father. The divorce of her parents had left deep scars on her mental health. She had to confront these issues, understand their impact on her life, and work hard to heal. With the help of professionals, therapists, and nutritionists, Lily began to rebuild her relationship with food and her body. She learned to nurture her self-esteem and self-worth, crucial pillars for her recovery. Hey, I created this content for you. Leave me a like in return. Come on, it's free. In the face of swirling rumors about her struggles, Lily decided to step into the light. She chose to share her story, hoping it could serve as a beacon for others battling the same demons. Through social media, she shared her unfiltered experiences and photos, showing the world the raw reality of her journey. In 2017, Lily released her autobiography, Unfiltered, No Shame, No Regrets, Just Me. The book was a candid account of her struggles with eating disorders and body image issues. She hoped her story would inspire others to seek help. Her decision to speak out marked a turning point in her life. It allowed her to confront her struggles head-on and find purpose in her journey. Lily became a vocal advocate for mental health and body positivity, using her platform to inspire and empower others. Lily's advocacy led her to a challenging role in the film To the Bone, where she portrayed Ellen, a young woman battling anorexia. The role required Lily to confront her past and channel her own experiences with eating disorders. She approached the role with sensitivity and thoughtfulness, understanding the responsibility that came with portraying such a complex character. The film was well received, with critics praising its honest portrayal of eating disorders and Lily's authentic performance. Today, Lily continues to use her platform to advocate for mental health and body positivity. She hopes her experiences and work will inspire others who are fighting similar battles. Through her work in film and literature, Lily continues to shed light on important issues related to mental health and body image. In the end, Lily's story is a testament to the power of perseverance, self-love, and the importance of seeking help. Her journey to recovery serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us all that no matter how difficult the path may be, there is always hope for a brighter future. What about you? What is your relationship with food? Let us know in the comments. And finally, smash the like button as if you really like this video. Thanks for watching.